Hi dolls, it's Nola. Welcome back to Nola's Dolls and Aquatics. Today I have a small thrift haul as well as some Dollar Tree stuff that I picked up. Um, thrifting, I picked up these two dolls. $2.99 for her, $0.49 cents for her. And I just thought she was really cute and she has clothes. And then I really love this dress. And I've been really into the teen skippers. Unfortunately, she looks like she's had her hair cut. I didn't notice that. And she does have her ring and her earrings. And then she's wearing this Barbie fashion. Which doesn't fit her because she's a teen skipper. So it's really, it's really too big on her. And then at the dollar store, I got this really cute fabric. I'm going to try and make a dress. And then I, this is a table runner. But it's this really nice, like, lacy material thought that would be nice uh, I got these are a little like you unscrew that and it's supposed to be like a crystal ball you can put whatever in it these little pails because they were really cute these little pumpkins because they were small and cloth they're just like squishy cloth and dip this to put some gel in for when I'm doing my doll's hair. Just a little bit of gel and dilute it with water so that after I'm done doing their hair, I can go ahead and um, drizzle that on there. Millie's trying to hide back there in her Halloween outfit, her little, uh, her wig. These are the last dolls that I picked up and I've been working on them. Most of them have had their hair washed and boil washed. They're not all completely styled. But this is what they're looking like so far. They've all fallen over. The Mycene doll here has a really severe haircut. But she's pulling off this kind of pixie haircut here. She's still really pretty. And I just put this skirt on as a top for her along with this actual Mycene uh, skirt and regular pair of shoes. Because I don't have any extra Mycene shoes. Um, not sure who this doll is. She's some sort of a Disney. She has Disney on the back of her head and a very stylized font. So I'm kind of not sure on this one. She does have the old style bend and snap, but this is not Mattel. I like a Mattel body and a Disney head. It's Disney and then the body just says made in China. And then I've got all these skippers that I picked up. This is a Generation Girl dress was on one of them. This actually came on the Nichelle doll, but I don't have the Nichelle doll. I wish I would have found her, but I didn't. Another skipper. Her hair is nice. This is uh, Saran hair. The Saran hair dolls always turn out uh, better than the Kanekalon hair. This is Saran. This one is Kanekalon. So you can see it's like floofy and has a lot of flyaways. I tried to dress them in like this is actually a shirt that I got with them and then these I got at a different thrift store the same day and I got that pair of pants. I got this skirt and this skirt which all look like they went to probably the same fashion pack. And I actually got these shoes in the, a uh, shoe lot here not too long ago. She just has solid legs. Like, they're not bend and snap. Here's her. Her hair is really pretty. This girl, probably a midge. She's got a few freckles. I loved this shirt that was in with those, with them when I bought them. And I put her in this little skirt and this little shirt with a phone on it. But yeah, that's all I got to show you today. Thanks for watching. I'm on back for the next episode of Nola's Dolls and Aquatics. I also did finish my um, background here. I finally put some uh, paper on it. It's kind of Halloween-y, but it's going to be my all the time because... I like the purples and the oranges and stuff. I tried to not use Halloweeny, but I needed uh, one square here, and so I ended up putting pumpkin one up there. But thanks for watching. Bye.